Hi. <laughs> oh. This is a day that none of us, whether we knew her personally or only on television, ever wanted to see happen. It is a day to celebrate the career of Idaho's best known, most respected, most revered television journalist. It's a day we say thank you to someone whose impact on our community and our television station will be felt for a generation or more. After 40 years of coming into your homes every day and night, this is the day we say goodbye to Dee. The farewell tour is about to end and her new life is about to begin. A special edition of the News at Six for the final time with Dee Sarton begins now. You're watching Idaho's News Channel 7. This is the News at Six. Welcome everybody in here to the Boise Depot high atop the capital city and the final broadcast for our D. Sarton. It is coming to an end in the next 30 minutes, but oh, what a next 30 minutes you're in store for and you're in store for. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's already been such a special day. I can hardly take in anymore. <laughs> it's, been, <laughs> it's been really special. Thanks to everybody. Well, it's been special for us here at Idaho's News Channel 7, our family and it's been sad for us, but today has been a day to celebrate. We have so many members of your family here at the depot. Friends and family have been here all day long, and uh, what we're about to witness is going to be historic. And to quick kick things off, I want to bring up the mayor of Boise. Mayor Beter has been thinking about hey, doing mayor. something for you since you announced oh, your retirement. You. <laughs> oh, thank you for coming oh, by. Oh, it's so good to be oh, here. Oh, so good. Well, let me step Mayor, out of the way. So you can... Right in the middle here, oh. Mayor, because uh, I know you have a little something you want to present to Dee. I have Dee. a few things, Dee. Yeah. Uh, okay, let me get you over here. So yeah, let's get you in the microphone. Right, there right. we go. Oh, wow. Uh, first of all, I have what I don't think has ever been done, at least in the time I've been here, it's a proclamation signed by every mayor all across the valley, oh. proclaiming it D. Sarden oh Day. My How about uh, in that? In all our cities. And I won't read it all, but obviously uh, 40 years. It started when you were 12. I, uh, you I don't know how that happens, <laughs> and child labor being what it is. But uh, Wednesday child segments, uh, all the things that you've done, uh, the uh, all the bowl games, the fairs, the uh, all Olympic World Winter Games. So that, again, oh. I don't think we've ever done that. I've never oh, seen it. All the mayors, we have trouble getting together on things, and we had no trouble with this. Oh, it is this D. Sarton Day everywhere you go in the valley. Oh, uh, that so is fantastic. That. Thank you so much, Mayor. But that is not all, D. Oh, uh, but there's more. That is not all. Uh, oh, goodness. Well, we oh, are. Oh, my goodness. We are, I showed it a little oh. early, but we are very stingy with the key to the city and the city of Boise. Oh How many have you given out? Uh, I don't even average it. One a year, less than yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, Chris Peterson, when they won the Fiesta Bowl, uh, Boise and uh, first amputee to climb Everest. Right. Uh, there is one journalist we gave it to, Paul J. Snyder, for 50 oh. years. Oh, yeah. But that was on radio where you can wear sweats. So yeah. <laughs> that doesn't count the same. But. Uh, oh. D, it's oh, my pleasure. Oh, Again, so we are beautiful. very stingy, so these mean something. Uh, it's my pleasure. I'm going to read from it real quick. For being one of the most recognized and trusted journalists in our community through an outstanding 40-year television oh, career. I am so D. Sarton, in addition oh. to D. Sarton Day, please accept oh, the key to the city of Boise. I'm just, I'm speechless, Mayor. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, that's what the a, way we like it when we give the special. key. Uh, but you're, you've been something else, D. Oh. It, it's meant a lot to all of us in our community. Uh, I'm an adoptive parent myself, so those segments mean a lot. Uh, we're going to miss you. This is a bittersweet day for us, but uh, you deserve it. Well, uh, here's to uh, fun years ahead for you. Thank you, Mayor. I'm and I, I am so blessed. I'm blessed beyond measure. This is, I love this city. I love this state so much. So to have something like this is just, I could have never dreamed. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. Find a good place for this. Uh, oh, I, I think I can. And, and, and we will see you soon. <laughs> if my grandbabies don't try to unlock something with well, it, that uh, might, we'll, we'll, we'll put it up high. We'll get it back up. <laughs> well, do, as I told you, when you gave a key to the city to Speedy and also Kristen, what's great about this is now the city owns Warm Springs Golf Course and Quail Hollow. We're going in anytime oh, okay. we want. Yeah, well, you are. <laughs> maybe I can be your guest. Anytime Mayor, you 
thank you so oh, much. Thank Give it up, everybody, for the Honorable with. Dave Beter. So much. Oh, my goodness. All right, I want you to roll some videotape, and so we can show you what also happened earlier today. And I see that uh, Mayor Debbie Kling's um, name is on here. So she didn't have to give you a proclamation, but what she did give you was the key to the city of Nampa. Isn't that so How special? How was that for you? Oh, I'll tell you, I was, well, I've always, we've gone to a lot of those presentations, yes, you know, so you, you know. It's, we've emceed them. We've emceed them. It, they're so special. Mark, it is so inconceivable to me but to have this kind of attention, but I, I really want you to know that this is about all of us here at Channel 7 because I couldn't do any of this. I feel like I landed, I feel like the Lord put me in a place with the right people <laughs> at the right time doing all the things I love right. and then I get to get the key of the city. I mean, it's just unbelievable. <laughs> so it's pretty fun, it's pretty fun. Okay, well the surprises are about to continue. So down the street yeah. on the blue at Boise State, RJ Tust is with a very special guest. I want you to take a look at the monitor okay. and Jay, I want you to take it away. Yeah, Mark, I can only hope that my collar's straight because Dee's not here to fix it tonight, but I guess I'm gonna have to kind of get used to that moving forward. You know, when you think of Dee Sartin, a few words come to mind. Genuine, loyal, and credible. The first two lead to the last one, and D. Sarton's credibility in this market is unparalleled. It's something that we all covet. She's also kind and warm, but you don't have to take my word for it. Not long after D. announced that she was retiring, I had one of our viewers stop me. He shared this story with me about how him and his wife moved away from Boise in the mid-1980s, not long after D. had started her incredible run at Channel 7. It was over 20 years later that they had the opportunity to move back. They really wanted to, but what they didn't realize when they got here was how much the city had changed. That night they turned on Channel 7 and the news at 6. Dee Sarton was anchoring that night, and it was at that moment that they found the comfort that they desired. That man looked at his wife as they sat there on the couch and were watching the news, and he said, honey, we're home. Dee, that's how you've made people feel for the last 40 years here in Boise. And there's actually one prominent sports figure that can really relate to this story. Boise State head football coach Brian Harson is obviously from here. He started as a quarterback at Capitol High School. He played here at Boise State. He went into coaching at a rather young age, and he was so good at it that eventually he was lured away. In December of 2013, though, he had the opportunity to come back here. And who else but Dee Sarton was waiting to welcome him and his wife back to their hometown. Brian Harson joins me live now on the News at Six as we continue to send off Dee. And coach, I know that you've said when you were younger right. that Dee Sarton frequented the, the, the TV in the Harson household, oh, yeah. but on a day yeah. of chaos, how comforting was it to see Dee's face as you and Kess came back home? Well, you mentioned it, and one, we had to come back home to get the news the way we liked it and to see Dee. And so, we had the press conference and that was a big moment for us and just to sit down and talk with somebody familiar that we've known and to answer the questions and just really get back to the feel of just being at home. Um, that was a big day for us and I know my wife, she especially enjoyed it. I had a lot going on, but that was one of those interviews and just a moment where to sit down with Dee, it kind of put everything in perspective. We had left, we had come back and the questions she'd asked and kind of getting to know who we are, it really meant a lot to us. and so. We appreciate that, and that was a that was something we'll always remember. That day, that interview, uh, that entire moment to be back here in Boise. Now, D has, I believe, had a little bit of a, a reason for your guys' success here at Boise State. If you go back in time, she anchored our 2007 parade coverage after you won the right. Fiesta Bowl. In 2010, she was back on the sidelines. 2014 was my favorite memory, maybe yours too. But D was right by my side, sprinting right. on the field as we went to grab post-game interviews. Now. Dee's retired. She's got some time on her hands. Obviously, she's a good luck charm. So, Coach, make your best recruiting pitch to make sure that Dee's at the next Fiesta Bowl. Well, you said it all. Think about all three of those <laughs> that we were at, right? And so, Dee, first of all, congratulations on a great career, 38 years, and everything you've given to so many of us. I want to personally say thank you from the Harson family. And uh, we do know you have a little bit of time on your hand here. So, <laughs> we're always about recruiting. So, I, I do have this jersey here for you, Channel 7, with your name on the back of it. Awesome. And we would oh, love awesome. for you to come down here and spend a little time with the Broncos, 
give us some of that magic. We had a 2019 season ahead of us. We got Florida State. We're only focused on that right now. But we could use some luck in that too. So hopefully this works. Suit the Broncos up, appreciate everything you've done. And thank you for all the great years, D. And thank you for certainly making our moment back in Boise very special. And we appreciate it. So I hope you get a chance to come down here. And I see you and give this to you. And I know the staff and the team would, would love to see you. Thank you. Brian, we really appreciate I it. And we'll make sure that we'll make sure that D gets over here to get that. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. You know, one thing that happens as we get a little bit older is I, I feel like uh, when you're younger, people always give you that, um, you know, that, that they're proud of you. They tell you that. And as we get older, I think that kind of uh, gets lost. But D, from the bottom of my heart, I'm so proud of everything that you've done here in Boise. Stick around. The news at six. We'll be right back. From here to there, Idaho Power powers communities with clean, renewable energy, lower electricity rates, and a commitment to the people we serve and the place we call home. See what powers us all at IdahoPower.com. Scandinavian Designs is celebrating Dad this Father's Day. Save up to 20% on recliners and reclining sofas and sectionals, like the Regine Power Reclining Sofa for just $9.99. With modern style for every budget, you can treat dad to the best seat in the house. Plus, financing available when you shop online and in our new Boise location at 2509 South Broadway. Scandinavian Designs. We make it simple, you make it home. Your Southern Idaho Honda dealers are on it. Check out the new 2019 Honda Accord. More passenger volume than the Toyota Camry. Check. Lease one for just $249 a month. Check. With 2.9% APR financing available. Check. Now, check it out at Tom Scott Honda in Nampa and Larry H. Miller Honda in Boise. Check. Your Southern Idaho Honda dealers. We bought a house in a neighborhood with a lot of other young couples. Then we noticed something strange. Oh, could you uh, make me a burger? Poof, you're a burger. <laughs> Everyone acts like their parents. You have a tattoo. Yes, fine. Do you not work? So what kind of mower you got, Seth? I don't know. I have some kid comes over. We pay him to do it. But it's not all bad. Someone uh, even showed us how we can save money by bundling home and auto with Progressive. Progressive can't protect you from becoming your parents, but we can protect your home and auto. Go let Mother Nature foil your plans. Get it together with Larry's Weather. Meteorologist Larry Gebert has your forecast every weekday morning on today's morning news on KTVV. Okay, so we've been telling you about all day long about the great moments in Dee Sarton's 40-year Hall of Fame career, award-winning career. We've been showing you the highlights, the great times that she's had, the many trips, the many accolades. But they asked me to do a little lighter moments of Dee Sarton on the air. Yeah. And I was really upset because I couldn't find any. Was I just too serious? No, you were just too perfect. Oh, no, 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 no. Too no, perfect. No, no. Except for... Well, what you're about to see. We'll see you after the <laughs> uh -oh. break. Yeah. Uh -oh. Also, a house fire on the bench and the couple, a new baby waiting to come home. Ah, oh, crap, I can't. <laughs> the governor says, you know what, I am just really rambling on here <laughs> because I don't know what I can do. Along with the Teen Center, the new 12,000 square foot expansion will include a full-size gym, technology center, performing arts stage, and snake and uh, nutrition center. $2.6 million. <laughs> Snake and Nutrition Center. Because you can't have a nutrition center without a tasty snake. And excuse me for getting phase. tickled mm -hmm. by that. But. Nothing says nutrition more like a garter snake. No, that's true. Right. Yeah, I was smarter than the average mayor. Hey, hey. Well, we mm -hmm. all know that. Okay, yes, thank you for you the reference to You remind us of that frequently, mm -hmm. yes. Yep. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't get a chance to... Yes, yes, a, very a, round, yes a, a hand for D. That was a good one. <laughs> As you look outside there, and of course, uh, just to let you know, 
ID. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, you know what? I'm just moving on over to my next spot. I'm Somehow I just bought her. Oh, oh there she goes again. Go. Let, Let me just come, come on over here. Let me just come on over and help you out in the We'll talk about the weather here. Okay, that's really good. I didn't know I bored you so much that you had to get me. You know, we have. We should tell folks. So we go from here, and sometimes we go right over here, and but we usually try to do it without everybody noticing. That's right. In fact, it's very smooth. All right. Well, I'll let you go back to work. Here we go. You have the courage to face your addiction, but it can be overwhelming and you may need help to get back what's important to you. If you have a drug problem, we can help. North Point Recovery. So I had packed up our old furniture to get ready for the move. And I said, uh, no, that, that can go directly to the dumpster because there is no way that's going in our new house. So I said, okay, let's go to RC Willie. He's a smart man. <laughs> a seven-piece room group is an affordable solution, and we have dozens yeah, of options, like this stylish group. Now only $9.99 for this sofa, love seat, three tables, and two lamps. I love that room. <laughs> yeah, me too. I think it just feels like home. <laughs> feels like us. You're not going anywhere. See North America's deepest and most rugged river gorge the way nobody else can with the Wild River Tour from Kilgore Adventures. It's the number one tour in Hell's Canyon. A jet boat blast featuring wet and wild rapids, spectacular scenery, interesting history, and abundant wildlife. Kilgore also has fishing trips, Hell's Canyon helicopter tours, whitewater rafting, and more. Book online now at KilgoreAdventures.com and follow all of Kilgore's adventures on Facebook and Instagram. It's how you do Idaho. Summer is here. The RV and boat liquidators are back at the Village at Meridian. Friday, May 31st through Sunday, June 9th. Get exclusive show pricing on top boat and RV brands. Save thousands with special finance incentives to fit any budget. Payments start at just $97 per month. Start making memories in this Aspen Trail 1700 bunkhouse. Starting at only $179 down, $179 per month. Camping and boating season is upon us. Make sure you're ready. May 31st through June 9th at the Village in Meridian. Your adventure awaits. You have the courage to face your addiction, but it can be overwhelming and you may need help to get back what's important to you. If you have an alcohol problem, we can help. North Point Recovery. Here are tonight's Prime Time Wise ratings. News Channel 7 encourages you to choose wisely and to go to tvguidelines.org for parental tools and rating information. Welcome back to the depot, and of course, Dee's final day. And Dee, I've been waiting in line all day, and I finally made it here. Oh, I'm so glad you did, Rick. Rick <laughs> and thank you for lunch. It was free today. Oh, it, so. and it was good, wasn't yeah, it? It was. it was good. Rick came in 1983. That's when I came back for my second uh, round at Channel 7 that's lasted all this time. Rick's a yeah, lot of great years and great memories. We did a lot of traveling together we and things did. like that. Yep. And Dee, all those keys you got today. I know. We I can lost, have fun. I lost my locker key at Channel 6. <laughs> I've been after it for six years. Oh. you got to come back tomorrow <laughs> and get, get that, that key one. back for me. Yeah, that that's that's right. a good idea. No, Rick, thank you for all that. We've had some Oh, don't thank me. I'm going to thank times. you. Yeah, be great. Well, and you know, it's not going to be the same with you being gone each day because we'd walk into the studio yeah. and there you are. Well, vice versa. So, so I'm I'll be watching to... from home. My my dear friends, the people that I love, and I'm going to miss you on a daily basis. But I will, I will see too. you, and I'll know what viewers mean when they I say, "I see you every day." Yeah, yep, and and we'll I'll, I'll, we'll be watching for you. All okay, right. come on in. So we got to do the weather because I understand that we're kind of running out of time. So I've just got like a seven day forecast okay, let's look at in it. order to do uh, a seven day forecast together. So we are going to be seeing some ups and downs in the weather. Things that you enjoy so much about Idaho D. That's right. And that's the fact that the temperature is going to be dropping and all the way down Whoa. to a 62 by Friday. We got a cold front tomorrow. Ooh. Look for some thunderstorms that could be somewhat outstanding. Yeah. And then next week we can hit 90 degrees again. Your first full week of retirement. Oh, and there it is. I wanted enjoy to ask it. you the biggest thing that you would want to do if you retired because uh, you know you have to go to work, but we'll have to wait on that one. Okay. okay to find all out right. what you're gonna do. Okay. okay. We're gonna be right back with more news in just a moment and more deep. That's gross, but it happens. Call Stanley Steamer and get back to clean. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. Hey, come on. Reaching the Idaho lottery. The jackpot is so big right now. 
I mean, it's crazy huge. Wait, where are you going? Hey, are you going to eat that? Mega millions. <laughs> is around the corner. Be able to hear your loved ones and take part in summer fun. Our Get Ready for Summer hearing aid sale is on now at the Audiology and Hearing Aid Center. Our top three hearing aids by Starkey are on sale. Save over $3,000 on select models for a limited time. And buy one, get one free on select models. Get out and live. Our Get Ready for Summer hearing aid sale is on now at the Audiology and Hearing Aid Center, North Milwaukee, Boise. This town is on the move, and we're moving forward with you, meeting your ever-growing needs with ever faster internet. Now we're taking our commitment to this town one step further. Cable One is now Sparklight, connecting people to each other, connecting neighborhoods to the world, connecting what's now to what's next. Sparklight, there's nothing this town can't do. Well, Kellen, we hear you have an idea for this year's campaign. I just thought everyone uses calendars. So what if they had calendars? Now, everyone will know when all of Kendall's events and sales are happening. It's all part of offering the best car buying experience. Why only 11 months? Kendall, let's start something great. Delivery for Kellen Moore? How many of these things did you make? What you're hearing and seeing is not Sweet Caroline, it is Sweet D. Sarton, performed by nearly a hundred of your closest friends and family earlier today at the Boise Depot. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sure it's going to be on iTunes by the end of the day. <laughs> well, only because you wrote such amazing lyrics. Those were really pretty incredible. You must have spent a lot of time on that. I did. I worked really hard on that, <laughs> but I want to thank everyone for being here and doing it. it Stick around after the break. We're gonna say goodbye to Dee. She's gonna say so long to you. The final broadcast continues after this. A bathroom should be more than just the place to get ready for the day. It should be your favorite room in the house, and it will be when you trust it to America's most experienced remodel specialist, Rebath. Call Rebath for a free in-home design consultation today. Do you forget anniversaries? That's okay. The Larry H. Miller 40th Anniversary Used Car Sale at Expo Idaho is one you won't forget. Come celebrate with us. And it's going on now, June 5th through the 8th. Our 40th Anniversary Sale means just 40 down, 129 a month on hundreds of used vehicles. It's all happening at Expo Idaho. Four dealers, unforgettable deals, all in one place. Mark your calendar, text yourself, set your Alexa. This is an anniversary worth remembering. Online at LHMauto.com. Driven by you. For you, maybe fresh means crisp, flavorful, or hand-picked. Yeah, we get you, and we've got that, with prices that'll really save you some green. A bathroom should be more than just the place to get ready for the day. It should be your favorite room in the house, and it will be when you trust it to America's most experienced remodel specialist, Rebath. Call Rebath for a free in-home design consultation today. Tonight, a special Ninja Warrior Night of Pets. Time to see some warriors get wet. Oh! And during Ninja, catch an exclusive sneak preview of the Secret Life of Pets 2. Oh! The Ninja Warrior Secret Life of Pets event. Tonight on NBC. Tonight. I see ghosts. Stop him. On the summer's new mystery thrill ride. We're out of leads. Reach out to Cassie. Can a deal with a dead man save the living? I help you, you help me. The In Between. Tonight on NBC. 
Next ET, big oh, stars, God. big exclusives. Well, I'm just talking to my friend Ken. We're heating things up with Halle Berry and getting J-Lo's bridal must-haves on tour. I want to look busted on your wedding day. <laughs> Plus, our Nashville week continues with the king of country, Garth Brooks. Tell her something exclusive. Give her something else. And bar hop in 101 with Blake Shelton. You're going to walk in, you're going to crawl out. Next ET. Tonight at 6.30 on KTVB. Well, we have come down to this, and I cannot think of a more appropriate place for the D. Sarton send-off than the Boise Depot, looking down on the capital city, and a city that you have spent the majority of your adult life in, around, living in, covering, and being one with this community. Man, I'll tell you what, I love that view so much. Yeah. I remember the first time I saw it, and it looked a lot different, believe me, 40 <laughs> years ago. Right. But I remember, and as, a, as a child, we used to drive to Colorado through here, and uh, the highway went right by this building. So right. I remember it as a little girl. So it's changed a lot in those years, but in wonderful ways, and we're gonna keep it that way. We're all gonna work so mm -hmm. hard to make sure Idaho stays this amazing place to live and raise our families. Well, we wanted uh, members of our anchor team to be up here. Mm, so to show you are. the support that you have from all of us. And I know I speak for all of you guys. I've always felt that. Always. Okay. Appreciate yeah. it so much. Well, this is kind of it, huh? Yeah. yeah. Oh, do, yeah. I, do I get to say a goodbye? I mean, or, um, farewell, all feeders ain't but There you go. There we go. Adieu. 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 There, help you me out. And you. Yeah. And and you. you. <laughs> but no, this, um, this is the moment that those folks out there um, aren't going to eat dinner until they see you say goodbye to them because you've been such a big part of all of our lives for these four decades. So thank you. Well, thank you and everybody, thank you. This has been an incredible, incredible day. I wanna thank uh, our general manager and president, Kate Morris, for orchestrating really a memory of a lifetime today. Thank you so much for that and for all the hard work. I know you all worked so hard on this. Our news director, Lisa Chavez, and everyone, all the people. I couldn't, I can't mention every name. I would forget someone. I wouldn't forget. I just would be, well, I'm old. You know what I'm talking about? You're I'm not old. old. Okay, so here we go. I wrote a few notes because I do want to say something it would just that- would take a long time to mention it. That's right, it would take a long time. Thank you, thank you to you for all the kind words, so many wonderful messages, and I'm so grateful. But I do have to say, I want to thank the good Lord above for choosing in his providence to land me here in Idaho among such great people at a great time. You know, there's a name I haven't mentioned, but was very instrumental in me coming back to Idaho. His name is David Roper, and he was a pastor and through him I learned about grace and I learned about so many things that gave me a different view of Idaho than I think I would have had otherwise. I came back here and, and had the blessing of his teaching at Cole Community Church for many years and I want to thank him for that because it really helped me understand Idaho and what we all need to do to love this state and love each other and to care about it and to preserve it and make it great. I gotta thank my family because they have been incredible support. My dad's no longer with us, but he was my first coach. And he was such a great, wise person to help me, shepherd me into this business. And my mom encouraging me at a time when very few women were in this industry at all, and when I was the first woman in, in a couple of newsrooms. And so mom, thank you so much for that. Of course, my wonderful husband of 40 years, Terry, who's been home a lot of nights doing the heavy lifting with our family while I was doing this job and other things and I uh, have always had his love and support and our kids uh, Bree and Chase who have just been amazing children and who shared a lot of adventures with me along this road and then I've got to thank our friends who've been long suffering I haven't been a very good friend I hope that's something I can do better in retirement and then I also want to mention that um, I've got these great grandchildren I've got four of them and that's what I'm going to do in retirement. I'm going to be a grandma and I'm going to love every second. And if you want, and here's a little plug, I've got a blog started, dsartan.com, to talk about being a grandma, embracing it and enjoying it. So I, with all of that said, thank you. Thank you, thank you for everything you've given me in my privileged position here of reporting to you and on you telling your stories. It's been 
more than I could have ever dreamed or asked for. And I hope I didn't forget anyone, except I do have to mention Sal Seleski, who hired me, <laughs> Bob Kruger, who agreed to it, and also um, my boss, Kate, as I've mentioned. Thank you for a career I could have never, ever dreamed or imagined. I am a blessed woman, and I don't take it for granted, but I can hardly, I can hardly imagine how life could be much better. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. I'll take that. Love you. Love you too.